Hashtag don't break the chain is a text channel on my Discord server about not breaking the chain. This text channel has a really long legacy that has been fully documented on my channel over time. This video contains some spoilers about previous episodes, so if you would like to watch them, first check out the lore playlist. Anyways, here is a recap of the previous episode before we begin. One day, a mysterious image appeared in the back alleys of the Discord server. I decided to make it a chain and hashtag don't break the chain 3, and after enough people chained it, the image began revealing more of itself over time. This image turned out to be a shattered piece of the dancing cow that was stored in the vibing pets dimension for an infinite amount of time, thus reviving the cow, although there was no knowledge on his current whereabouts. After this, the chain chopper made an unexpected return and betrayed us by stealing the shattered form image and saying something about ascending to what he refers to as the divinity chain. After a few long months of being left in the dust by the chain chopper, utterly confused in the current state of what danger this world was in, the text channel went on, but the chain info channel was silent. But on one unexpected day, a light finally peered through the sky once more. On November 14th, 2021, a message was sent in hashtag chain info. This is the story of the events that unfolded following that message. This is a story of great progress at the cost of facing death itself. A great adventure with an even greater danger. Welcome to the history of hashtag don't break the chain world tour. You are invited to the Don't Break the Chain World Tour! During the next week, we will be touring many fun places around the universe through the hashtag Don't Break the Chain 3 text channel. Get in the interdimensional bus as we start this field trip. If you would like to join us on this tour, please begin chaining the picture of our bus. Our bus is a little plain right now, so feel free to help decorate it in hashtag Don't Break the Chain 3. Along with this, a new bus rider role was created for notifications and a discussion text channel called hashtag the bus was made as well. Excitement filled the air after this pleasant surprise I dropped on everybody this day. We were going on a great adventure. Over in hashtag don't break the chain 3, everybody was spamming the bus image. As I said, this bus needed some decoration and some members quickly got to work. At first, there were a lot of random edits like the long bus or this concept of the donut bus. Some of them were quite random. One of them was the battle bus. I don't know why this one is on a treadmill. This one is just cursed. What the frick? What the frick? What the- The bus singularity. This one is a super cute fan art by Poyo. These are just chaos. This one is a really cool concept art of a spaceship bus by Pickled Pickles. Another cool artwork was made by Salty Ice Cream. Chippy Polly made a really fun fan art of a lot of the members on the bus. Later in the day, another message was sent in hashtag chain info. Thank you all for the decorations you have submitted. This will help increase the importance value of the bus. Because of this, some of the extremely complex technology of the bus is now functional, although I'm not telling you what it is yet, so it's a surprise. Tomorrow we will go to our first location and I will put together a final version of how our bus will look. Until then, keep chaining the bus to help power it. For the rest of the day, the members happily chained the bus and made more and more edits. Everybody was eagerly awaiting the first location of the trip. Thank you all for the help on the bus decorations. Because of your continuous chaining, the bus now has enough fuel to begin the tour. Here is the final version of the bus decoration. I took some inspiration of how some of you guys were decorating it. The world tour will now begin. Our first location is Mount Fuji in Japan. Chain this image to continue the tour. Feel free to add stuff to the image. Finally, the bus has finished being decorated and we have arrived at our first location. Immediately, people began chaining the image. Many edits were also made, including this cute fan art by Aussie 20 Later in the day, another update was made in hashtag chain info. Before we continue the actual tour, why don't we tour what's inside our own bus? Believe it or not, but the bus is actually a lot bigger on the inside than the outside. First up, we have the built-in McDonald's in the back for food. There is also a play place inside the McDonald's. On row 7, there is a door on the right to the indoor mini golf course. On row 6 on the left, there is an indoor water park. There are many more rooms in the bus, but for now, chain whichever one you want to be in as we wait to go to our next destination, or just look at Mount Fuji out the window. People began randomly chaining these images with a few edits. User Trippy Polly made another really cute fan art of inside the bus. Wower Park! <laughs> Can you tell us where the bathroom is? Where is the bathroom in the bus? Hey, do you happen to know where the bathroom is on the bus? Uh, let's just say we took a few shortcuts with the construction. After a calm day of chaining these images, the sun finally set and the bus revved its engines once more. Now we will be visiting the Pacific Ocean. Begin chaining this image to continue the tour. Make sure not to drown or else our company will be suited. This tour will have to end early. The sun was shining and the waves were waving as our bus floated in the middle of the ocean with absolutely no land in sight. A few edits were made and then guys help the back of the bus is sinking! <laughs> 
Oh frick, our bus actually sank to the bottom of the ocean. Oh no. Oh hell no, nah, we sunk. Guys, I can't breathe longer. Get to the top of the play place. Don't worry guys, the bus is watertight. Just stay inside and we'll be fine. Let's just chill out here for the rest of the day and enjoy the ocean floor. Never make words fail. By the way, everyone, on the hidden second floor, there was a capsule hotel for y'all to sleep in tonight. Also on row five, there was a built-in arcade. Have fun. I call top bunk. Hey, yo, there's hotels and a arcade. User Trippy Polly also made yet another fan art for the day. Okay, we got the bus running again, and we have successfully driven out of the ocean. We are now in a mysterious jungle. Very cool. Guys, can we look for Bigfoot? Guys, I'm pretty sure this bus is in Brazil. Some of the plants got in. An hour later, an update was made in hashtag chain info with consequences larger than anyone would ever imagine. Oh no, there was a giant monkey in this jungle. What do we do? Should we get on the bus and drive away to safety, or should we fight this thing? Whatever this thing is, it looks like big trouble. Hopefully, the members will make the right decision on this poll. Fight! It will kill us later if we run. Fight the monkey! Let's fight this monkey! No, we must fight. Together, we are strong. Are you sure we should fight this thing? No! Yes! Yes! We have the numbers! As you can see here, the majority voted for fighting the monkey. So we geared up and got ready to fight. We have collectively decided to fight this monkey. Unfortunately, in a tragic course of events, the monkey destroyed our bus and killed us all. Everyone to participate in this tour is dead. We failed and suffered a horrible fate. The Don't Break the Chain text channel is now gone forever. The members of hashtag Don't Break the Chain 3 were shocked. This can't be true. Nobody could believe their eyes. Everything was over. Everything has suddenly come to an end. The chainers were faced with death. And soon they were faced with the many stages of grief. The first being shock and denial. No, no, no. Goodbye, what, no, what, no. No way guys, we died. No, you idiots. Soon after, the same people who chose to fight the monkey in the first place were hypocritically angered at others for choosing the same option. The second stage of grief, anger. Why did you guys choose to fight the monkey? Eventually, they reached the final stage, acceptance. It's been nice knowing you guys here. Goodbye, don't break the chain three. We will miss you, our memories. As I said earlier, the don't break the chain text channel is now gone forever. Or is it? There was actually something I've been hiding from you guys on this trip. Why do you think we were able to fit the entirety of Hashtag Don't Break the Chain 3 inside the bus? This is because our bus is actually a fourth dimensional object. Inside the bus is a truly infinite amount of space. I created this bus because I had an idea to give the Don't Break the Chain tech channel a protective layer against outside threats. I created an infinite bus paradox. Inside the bus, there is a copy of itself, and inside that copy, there is another copy, and so on, creating infinite bus and infinite copies of what's inside. Every copy of the bus is slightly delayed by a few minutes. So I ask all of you, who have actually been copies of the original you this whole time, what option do we choose? We know the fate of our previous copies, so maybe now you can make a better decision. Do you want to suffer the same fate again or continue to live through this tour? Vote now. Immediately, people began chaining the bus paradox image and discussing what to do and hashtag the bus. Don't choose fight the monkey. Fight the monkey again. We must fight again. Continue the cycle. Guys, don't fight it. The results were in, and thankfully, they chose not to fight at this time. After quickly driving away, we reached a beach, and the monkey's habitat is only in the jungle, so we are safe now. We did it. We made it to safety. Phew. Thank you everyone for cooperating. We will chill out here until our next location. The members began chaining this new image. We did it. We escaped death. As a celebration, Trippy Polly once again made a very cute fan art of us all on the beach, and user G-Man made a really cool fan art as well. After that close call in the jungle, the bus is back up and running. Today, we are driving to the moon. Enjoy the soft moon dust and all its glory as we hang out on this massive crater. Everybody began chaining the moon image. When we actually started exploring the surface, we made an amazing discovery. After some exploring, we have found a massive undiscovered stash of cheeses in one of the craters. The cheese economy is going to be booming. In New Polynomer City, our main currency is cheeses. With this new stash of cheeses, our city is going to be rich. I'm eating all of the cheeses, but the economy, we are going to cause cheese inflation. But actually getting the cheeses was not going to be easy. This task would end up being much more dangerous than anybody would have anticipated. 
Breaking news! Moon aliens have been discovered and they want our Cheez-Its! What do we do? Should we just give them our Cheez-Its or drive away to a different planet? Vote now! Give them the Cheez-Its, we don't want to risk a chase across space! This will greatly affect the Cheez-It economy! We will die, they are not to be trusted! After a very heated debate, the results were in. Okay, we have decided to drive to another planet. What planet should we drive to? Here are the planets we have a good trajectory for. Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, and Pluto. Jupiter has no surface. Mars, now! If we're doing this, the best option is Pluto! It's far enough away that they won't find us! Mars is too close, the aliens will find us! We are going to burn if we go to Mercury! After a very confusing debate, the members made a choice. Okay, everyone chose to go to Mars. We have arrived safely and I think we might be fine. Never mind, no! Mars was too close by and the aliens found us! They killed us in an instant. Well then, new copies. What planet should we choose now? Now, a new set of copies is faced with the same decision but with new knowledge. What planet do we choose? Mercury is hospitable to the bus, unlike Jupiter with extreme gravity. Now, let's try Pluto. This person just voted Mars again, I don't know why. Eventually, the choice was made. Pluto has now been chosen. We have successfully landed on Pluto and the aliens seem to have lost us. It's extremely cold, so everyone stay on the bus unless you have a jacket or a scarf, please. People began chaining the Pluto image in victory. We finally escaped the aliens. Pluto worked! Where's Scarf? Burr, M. Cold. This guy made a weird collage chain and Trippy Polly once again made a beautiful fan art of our new location. Sorry it's so cold here. I decided to install a fireplace and a hot chocolate maker for y'all. Enjoy! Here is the view from a window. We looked on at the sun from a very distant and cold dwarf planet, happy to be a part of this grand tour, happy to be together, and most of all, happy to be alive. The stars shined brighter than it ever did on Earth, but our future shines brighter. Thankfully, we kept the cheeses we discovered on the moon and our economy is booming! We now have enough money to purchase an interdimensional portal for our tour! Our next location is the Playground Megastructure in the Playground Dimension. Have fun! The members of Hashtag Don't Break the Chain 3 were very excited to enter this fun-filled dimension. I'm gonna play hide and seek here! I'm gonna go check out that really big slide! This Playground Dimension has actually been featured on my channel before in this video. If you want to visit the Playground Megastructure yourself, go check out that video. Link in the description. Trippy Polly also made this really colorful fan art of us all hanging out on the playground. After a very calm day of playing on the playground, we went to our next location. I fired up the interdimensional portal again, now we're visiting hell itself! The air was boiling and the innocent souls were screaming as our bus parked in this hellish landscape. Although I quickly realized that this might have been a grave mistake. Uh oh, it looks like our interdimensional portal has run out of fuel, meaning we're stuck here! Should we explore to find more? The members voted for us to explore in hopes of finding more fuel for our portal. We decided to explore, looks like there isn't anything here. Wait, there was a person here, should we befriend him or kill? Whoever this mysterious person was, they seemed like a very powerful being. I hear boss music. Befriend Doomslayer. Kill. Friend. Hey. The vast majority voted for befriending this person who is apparently named the Doomslayer. We have decided to befriend the Doomslayer. Let's explore more. Holy bazoingers, we found a hellish Cheez-It stash. But wait, there are demons guarding it. Should we fight them ourselves or leave this to the Doomslayer? Or maybe just run? The Slayer knows how to handle this. Let him fight. The members voted for letting the Doomslayer fight the demons for us. We have all the Cheez-Its now. We will continue exploring later. For now, let's just take a snack break. After our break, we decided to explore more. Unfortunately, we ended up coming into contact with something we were never meant to meet. After exploring more, a terrifying being appears. It seems we've wandered into the demon cat's habitat. What do we do? Should we fight this thing or run? This being is known as the Demon Cat, one of the most ultimate beings in the cat meme lore universe. Battles with this cat have been seen in the cat meme timeline videos on my channel, and people who have seen those videos would know exactly how dangerous this being truly is. If we could barely fight the Demon Cat with the power of God, how are we going to fight it with just a single boss? Guys, why do we have the Doom Guy? The members ended up choosing to run away. A wise choice with knowing how powerful this being really is, but it sadly led to our doom. We attempted to run away from the Demon Cat. He noticed us and instantly killed us all. Going into one of the copies of our bus, we must make a new decision. How should we even do this? Should we just let the Doomslayer fight him for us, or should we try to do it ourselves? Now this was a tough decision. We already failed once, and if we fail too many times, we might get stuck in an endless loop of death because of the delays with going into a bus copy. The first choice the members made was to let the Doomslayer fight him for us. We let the Doomslayer fight him for us, and the Demon Cat still easily won and killed us too. Going back into another copy, we must make a decision. This was our final attempt. If we fail, we will get stuck into an infinite loop of death. Fighting this thing was our 
only option. But how are we even going to do it? Actually, we can cover ourselves in Cheez-Its. Cover the bus in Cheez-Its. In the Cat Meme Timeline video, a cat that was covered in Cheez-Its was known as an immovable object, which means that literally no force in the universe could move this object, forcing the Demi Cat into an endless stalemate. If we try to replicate this by covering our own bus in Cheez-Its, this could work. Many of you know of a strategy used to defeat such a being from the Cat Timeline video on my channel. We can apply the same strategy to our bus. If we use some of the Cheez-Its we collected earlier, we can cover our bus in Cheez-Its, making it an immovable object. Next, we take an extra copy of our bus into this world and run away while the Cheez-It covered bus is immovable, thus making the Demon Cat preoccupied with fighting it for the rest of time. We safely got away. Yes, we used the cheeses to escape! How didn't I think of the cheez strat? In celebration, Trippy Polly made an arc about our battle with the demon cat. This was the most dangerous encounter we've made on this whole trip. We were so close to losing everything, yet we pulled through at the last minute and survived. Once again, we escaped death. Using the leftover cheeses, we were able to power our teleporter and leave this dimension. Okay, we used some of the leftover cheeses as portal fuel. Back through the interdimensional portal we go. Wait a second, where are we? Okay, who clicked on something and what the freak did it just open? This was a very confusing day for hashtag don't break the chain 3. We were completely lost in a very weird dimension. User Shark the Pog made a really nice fan art of us in this dimension. Okay, I found out where the servers are for where the bus is. I downloaded the entirety of the bus onto my quantum thumb drive. Now I'm going to plug you guys back into Discord servers so we can continue the tour. Unfortunately, what I said wasn't entirely true. In reality, we were on our way to the final location of the tour. The final piece of a secret puzzle. The next day, an event that forever changed the fate of our server took place. Okay, I plugged the bus back into Discord. I am sorry to inform you that we must go to our final location. Instead of sending you back to the Polynomers Discord server, I must send you somewhere else. The Forgotten Realms Discord. We must take this opportunity to create a weapon to defend ourselves with. A super chain weapon. This will help us protect our city. No, our country. We found so many cheeses on the trip that we are now ready to evolve. I hereby declare us new Polynomers country. Now, to create the super chain weapon, we must make a chain in the Forgotten Realms itself. Once we do that, we will combine every chain from this trip into a single interdimensional image, creating the most ultimate weapon possible. I have finally taken over a section of the Forgotten Realms and installed chain functionality there. Everyone, please go to the server and help us make a chain in the farthest reaches of the universe! For the first time ever, an official Don't Break the Chain chain was going to take place in a different server. Welcome to the Polynomers Outpost. This is a small section of the Forgotten Realms I was able to take over for our operation. Chain functionality has been installed, so we are able to create chains in this area. Please begin chaining this image and add whatever you want to it to increase its importance value. Good luck, chainers. This was the final piece of the puzzle, a chain in the Forgotten Realms itself. Keep adding things to the image! We need to port its value or else you will all be lost in the realms forever! Attention everyone, because of the interdimensional disturbance caused by creating a chain in the Forgotten Realms, a rip in the multiverse has formed. The Divinity Chain has showed itself, just as I expected. I understand what the Chain Chopper meant all those months ago. I will begin my research on this rip and report back to you when possible. Nobody come into contact with this rip as it could be catastrophically dangerous. While the chain was going on in the Forgotten Realms, back in the original Don't Break the Chain tech channel, the people who stayed behind began chaining the Divinity Chain image even though I told them not to. What happens if I touch it? Touch. Stay away from the Divinity! chain. Don't chain the divinity chain. It could be disastrous. W bottom text. I have finally concluded my research on the mysterious divinity chain. This object is the chain that holds the multiverses themselves together. The most powerful object in the multiverse. The building blocks of reality. It seems to be a non-sentient being only able to be influenced by other godlike entities. If anything acquires the divinity chain's power, they would be the true god of the multiverse. Even more powerful than beings like the D-Cat. In order for our universe to stay at peace, we must not let anything attempt to reach this thing, all the more reason to create a super chain weapon to protect the universe. As the Forgotten Realms chain went on, the outpost became less stable. The chain is now powerful enough to complete the super chain weapon, so I closed the outpost. Sufficient chaining achieved. Thank you for your contribution. Chain functionality has been removed. Thankfully, everyone safely escaped. The super chain weapon has been created. We will use this when a great threat presents itself.
the super chain weapon, an interdimensional image filled with the story of a grand adventure. An adventure where we visited beautiful sights, faced terrifying beasts, explored the unexplored, and progressed to a new era. This image encapsulated our journey, and this image will be used to save the universe in the future. The members in hashtag don't break the chain 3 changed this image in victory. The Don't Break the Chain World Tour has been a success. I have now returned the bus to our Discord server. I am also happy to announce that we've officially evolved into new Polynomers country. This new evolution of the server is all thanks to your efforts. The future of this country is very bright. We have so much more ahead of us, and now we have safely established a super chain weapon we can hopefully defeat any future threats we come across. Now that our journey is over, the hashtag the bus discussion channel was going to be archived. The many members who participated in this journey, the people who left a mark on the future of our universe, said their final goodbyes to this tech channel. This is our final moments here. Bye, Buzz. Goodbye, my fellow comrades. No, I don't want to be archived. We must remember this forever. Best Buzz trip ever. The channel was archived, with the letter A being the final message in the text channel. Over 1,200 people had the bus rider role that was used for notifications about the event. The ability to get the role was removed, but the members who had it got to keep the role as a badge of honor for the mark they made. The members started chaining the simple phrase, don't break the chain, in the don't break the chain text channel in an honor of our adventure. Our journey was over, but the memories we made will stay forever. The impact we made will be felt forever. The phrase they chained on this day will be in our hearts forever. No matter the threat, we will always remember, don't break the chain.